Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna, I've actually already tried filming this, but I'm gonna do it again. If you don't know me, I'm Lauren Renee, and I introduce myself in every single week, but that's fine. And I'm excited to bring you to another sit down video, which is, if you have not read by the title already, is a haul and an unboxing. So I am very excited because I've been wanting to do this one for a while. I say that every single week that I've been wanting to film this video for a while. Oh well. Um, but I wanted to show you because I, I, this is a, a fashion and lifestyle and everything in between uh, channel. So I wanted to show you not only is it clothes, but obviously, obviously you've got accessories. Accessories are a huge part of every single outfit and actually totally change the dynamic of what you wear. So speaking of what I'm wearing, I'm wearing my oversized blue uh, Zara shirt. I did steam it, but it did not love to stay like that. And I'm currently not wearing any jewellery with it because I'm going to be showing you jewellery and trying it on. So, first things first. Why am I pointing at my ears? I was like, got to be like, jewellery. I have these two arm bags. I shouldn't shake it so much because I actually haven't opened it yet. Um, oh, it's upside down. Aumia, but that's going to show up backwards. So it looks like it, it starts A-U-M-I-A. Aumia. I mean, I, mean, I can't say it right, but I took it out of the box box, the postage box already, because it had my um, uh, address on it on both sides. So here we are. We've got it with the wrap. It came with a couple of cute little, little bits. I'll show you first. A how to take care of it, obviously, because you want to take care of your jewelry, make it last as long as possible, especially just gold, because all I've got is gold plated. I can't afford pure gold stuff just yet, just yet. One day. We dream. We all gotta start somewhere. So obviously taking care of it and a little cloth that's cute as yeah, like remove your jewelry before you're showering and going in pools and stuff, just general stuff, and then a cute little thank you for ordering. Lauren, thank you for your order. And Ayana. Ayana, that's a lovely name. And that's like I'm assuming that's like their promo. I don't know if that's one of them that sells it but I like your I loved this stuff I've honestly been like looking at all these pieces for so long and going oh do I want this one and this one but the good thing about this brand is that you get to buy it in like packs and so you can buy like a pack of like I want to order five specific things or you want to order four specific things it, you bought it in the pack and it came like with a little bit of a sales so I was like oh yes so let's do a little I'm gonna try and hold it up last time I opened something off camera and you couldn't even see it as I was just doing them. Aww. A little, I can already hear it moving around. It sounds like it's potentially gotten loose, but that's a little... This is going to be so aesthetically pleasing. Ready? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Good! Eee! Oh, look, see, look how lovely that display is. So let's go through what I've gotten. I've gotten some huggy earrings, some uh, hoop, like large hoop earrings, a, that's my, yeah, that's my bracelet. I got a little gold chain bracelet and a gold chain necklace. So yeah, I already have a couple of gold pieces that I've shown you before. And I think one day I'll do like when I collect more pieces, I'll do like a proper full I'll do a proper full collection haul, but this is my these ones haul because I wanted to expand. So I'm so excited. I actually wrote down all about them so that I could properly tell you guys. So I've got my huggies. Oh my god, yes. They're so cute. Look at them. They're so tiny. Like, they're so cute. So they're little gold huggy earrings that I've got. Um Cubic zirconias. Ow. Oh, I almost got myself. Oh, look at that. So how close can I get? Cubic zirconias. So like the, kind of like an ice fake diamond in it. That's really good. For, like a cheap version. And honestly, I think they sell, like, they sell them in for engagement rings and all different things you can use cubic zirconias. So it's a great way to have that diamond look without having to pay the price. Is this going to go in my ear? Yeah. Hello? Oh 
my gosh. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But they're so cute. I thought these would be perfect for work. Something small and dainty that still has details. I can actually, I'm gonna have to go to the mirror. I got them in. It's just that because they're so small, I was getting them on the wrong angle. You can see how like red my ear is from trying. But oh, that's so perfect. And because I have such, I have quite like small dainty ears. Well, I've been told. And so now I just think that, um, that I thought these little huggies would be so cute. An easy way to just glam up your outfit, your, especially your work corporate outfit. That isn't something over the top. I definitely do not like over the top big earrings for work. You know, you're meant to be professional and corporate, but now these are the perfect thing. And you can style them up with like necklaces and bracelets, and that's what I'm gonna do with my next pieces. Can I get this out nicely? But yes, the these earrings are the cubic zirconia diamonds with the uh what have I got? They're gold vermeil. So I had to research about vermeil because I didn't know about it. And it's the uh, it's a high quality pure sterling silver that has been plated with a thin layer of, of gold. And this is obviously 18 karat gold vermeil. So I'm assuming you know it's a it's that type of it's just like a little bit better than like a sterling silver. But I think the rest of my pieces are sterling silver. Wow. And this is the chain. I'm also battling with like the evening light going down because it's nearly 5.30 and it's winter. Come on, get out of the packet. There we go. This is the chain. It's got a herringbone. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the herringbone style. And I loved this because I thought it was such a beautiful, dainty piece that could pair up with anything. Obviously, it's not going to be chunky and stuff. I don't like chunky jewellery. Let's try it on the thinnest point, on the smallest point. Nope. Apparently not. I normally get other people to put on my jewellery, but let's just, if I just hold it. Yeah, you can see how small it is and that's on the smallest run. And then if I sm hold it near the highest point, I actually thought this would be longer. It's about there. That's nice. Wow, my outfit already feels like elevated by this. Just that, those small details that elevate and accentuate what's already here. And we love that on this channel, making it more about you than just about your outfit. That's so lovely. I really, really like that. And I've actually got, I might actually pair it up with if you want to double up like your necklace layering. Oh, this is not going to sit well there, is it? I've got this necklace, existing gold one from Bella Vintage. And look at that. You've got a simple detailed gold necklace two gold necklaces that go really, really well together. And they're also not close. If I'm gonna ever wear two necklaces, which I really do, I don't want them to be the same style. So I've got the herringbone serpent chain from Amia that I just opened. <laughs> and then I've got the twisted chain from Bella Vintage that I've got here. And you can see without the herringbone being done up that they're two different ones. They're still on the thin side. And then I've got my little earrings. And I feel still dainty and still me and not like, hey, it's me. Look at my necklace. We love that. Yeah, so the serpent, reading up on my information for you guys, the serpent um, chain is not gold vermeil. It is sterling silver. So I know a couple of people that are actually allergic to silver. Um... It's not sterling silver, it's stainless steel covered with 18 karat gold. Come on, clip back together. It's actually, look at it, it's got the little, this is my face, little like Aumia. Oh no, you can't see, I don't know, flip it, flip, flip, aha, the Aumia like logo name on the end of the chain, which is such a beautiful detail that it's not like overtaking the actual style of the necklace. 
But yeah, no, these, yeah, the rest of them were stainless steel. I don't know why that was chosen for these to be different. But yeah, I know a couple, because like I said, I know a couple of people that are allergic to silver. That's what I was saying. So ensuring that, you know, you've got different options is really great. I'm going to take these out because I'm going to put in my earrings for the next one yet. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, the sterling silver pieces are also hypoallergenic. So obviously hypoallergenic, if you don't know what that is, you can get that a lot with like dogs, especially cross with poodles, I think it is. So hypoallergenic implies that the material or item or dog or pet is less likely to have you suffer an allergic reaction. So definitely go for those if you react to certain things, like if you react to like makeup and all uh, makeup and skincare, a lot of those can detail whether or not they're hypoallergenic. So have a look. But I want to look at the bracelet. <laughs> it's similar in terms of like it's got the Aumia detailing again, it's got the thin gold chain, but I thought this was so beautiful, especially to pair up with not my Kate Spade uh, bangles, if you've seen those before, but my Rosefield watch. Oh, I just feel so nice. And I'm excited to like have a bangle that is, not a bangle, a detailed bracelet. I'm not gonna be able to put this on by myself, but you can get the gist. That that's just gonna sit like nicely and then I'd have my watch I just want to do it all for you if I actually put on my rosefield watch for you I think this yeah there is slightly different gold which is okay so if I wrap that just there like those details would be so nice together I think it's so beautiful. Actually, another thing that I really want to get is one of those permanent bracelets. I sent that to my friend and I was like, oh, do you want to get it? And she's like, no, I play netball, so I'd have to maybe get it on my ankle. But I thought that's such a cool thing because I don't personally want a tattoo. So, but I want something that's like kind of along those lines, even though I can remove jewelry whenever I want. But I thought that is so pretty and a lot like the that. I went on a very weird tangent just then, but that's fine. Um, it's got, yeah, everything you want. Every, it's just like the, yeah, just like the necklace in terms of it's hypoallergenic, stainless steel, 18 gold carat pleated. And now I'm putting on the earrings. This is what I'm most excited for. I'm going to show you these up close. So there are, if you can see that, oh, we're not going to focus. They're a triple twisted design. So they've got those three like gold bands that form a twist in the bottom and, and flip on the other side there. With that just like lock in place clamp. You know, I love that. I'm just like, oh, that old money look. And so these were definitely felt old money. Those like not big, but more of a bigger or a slightly thicker hoop. You see that a lot with all those ladies that went to the tennis club. So this is them in. They're not huge, but they still make make a statement. And I don't, I personally, I could wear these to the office, but I don't know if I would. I don't know if I'd find them a bit much. For the office I like my huggies and maybe like this the herringbone necklace I think that would be enough but something I'd also really love is if you've got two earring holes like two piercings having the huggies and these on at the same time if you can kind of catch my drift yeah I think that's so lovely eee. that is my little haul maybe if I pop this like around my neck Mmm, yeah, no, that's lovely. I really love that. It's all about the gold, de small details. I do, I personally don't love silver. I find that I'm much more of a gold person. I used to wear silver a lot when I was younger, but I found my skin tone worked better with uh, warmer tones, as you all know, in terms of jewelry. Because, you know, I wear a lot of white and a lot of blue and... <laughs> obviously um but in terms of jewelry i worked better with gold silver i don't like mixing different colors for jewelry i find that very 
very dated and not cheap but I don't love it personally I only like silver if it's wrapped in diamonds <laughs> that's a Kendall Jenner quote if you know that so um that's how I know it I yeah I think I'd go silver if I had like Swarovski crystals or diamonds that I could have it in but that's that that's my little haul I hope you enjoyed I hope you you know learned something from it and shop from Ayumiya Ayumiya however you say it I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that but yeah, I think this was very ad hoc. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked. Hope you learned. Yeah, keep it small and detailing for work. Accentuate your outfit. Don't overpower. Pairing up is always good, but I don't like pairing with different colors. Um, check and match. Try and match your skin tone. If you work better with cool tones, go with the silver. Obviously, if you work with gold tones, I've got my red hair. But yeah, and pairing up pieces. Oh, before I run off. Pairing off pieces, notice how before I paired my watch, which is the Rosefield Square watch, as you've seen before, if you watch my, I think it was in my last one, in my last video. Wait, no, it would have been two videos ago. Anyway, I paired this up and you see how much thicker that is and then how I had my new bangle. Why do I keep saying bangle? Because I'm looking at my Kate Spade bangles right next to it. Um, chain, no, bracelet. Look at, see the um, thickness differences? That's something that I really like. And that's something that I just spoke about in terms of my necklaces, pairing up different thicknesses as a really great way that you can wear multiple different styles, multiple different bracelets, necklaces at the same time and get their use for wear without looking like you've got the guy with 10 rings from Marvel. <laughs> like you haven't gotten, you know, really, really outdated and showing how much jewelry you have you're letting the jewelry speak jewelry speak for itself and also make you the best bit of the outfit so all right i'll see you all next week i will love you and leave you please like and subscribe we're so close to 100 on here so that's so exciting um and i'll see you all next week love you bye